Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of A Civilization 2. And today episode of A Civilization 2, I will show you guys on how to install mod of A Civilization 2, such as the add-on plus mod and the uh, Bloody Europe 2 mod on PC and on Android. So, uh, first we're gonna start with the PC. So in order to st install a mod, it's best to remember that you need to back up all your files. So, how do I back up your files? Pretty easy. So just go to your computer or you can just press start and E. You will see your computers and you can go to uh, your PC here. Yes, and you can go to your program files. You can go to your where Steam. You have Steam right here. Go to Steam apps and go to the common copy. Yep, and paste it on the desktop. I don't have to do it because I already done it. So after you replace it, you have to name it as the backup or you don't have to name it at all. So how to install it eventually. So first of all, if you have the add on plus mod, it is a setup file, meaning that you have to set it up by yourself. So just click on it and run and it will ask where to install and it's on it's in Russian. So it's going to be C program file, Steam apps, common age of civilization two, meaning that the add-on plus is already on my Steam uh, directories inside the program file, so I don't have to install it. So to prove to you guys, I have to go to my Steam, open it to A Civilization 2, and you will definitely see that it is a add-on plus. Okay, so yeah, you can see right here, it's already been shown. Yes, it is an add-on plus mod. So I install it into my directories, it's become a uh, add on plus mod on my uh, Steam applications. So, you guys might have wondered so, what happened to my original files? So, the original file will be lost, but eventually I have backed it up just by showing you that I copy all the files to my desktop in one folder and I name it A of Civilization 2 Backup. Okay, just waiting for it to be done, so it's gonna be 70%, 71%. Okay. So add on plus it's a setup file. You don't really, you, you don't really have to do anything. Just sit back and uh, relax until the backup is sorry until the installation is done. So that's the add on plus mod. So you can see right here. Let me show you. Just wait for it to be done. Yep. And games you have new game. Yeah. So you have the add on plus mod. Pretty much an easy thing to do. Okay. So now go to. The bloody Europe. Okay, so how do you install the bloody Europe? When you download the bloody Europe file, it's become a zip file. So in order to do a unzip file, you just click on it. For example, this one like C-Log, just click on, right click on it and extract it to the file itself, to the folder itself. It will become the file. And how do you do it? Well, you need to copy another backup of the your backup and paste it into the other side. And then you copy all the file right here because when you zip out you, they will give you some file of these games map music and ui sorry just waiting for it to be done and ui sorry sorry it's a bit laggy yeah and ui just copy it no just just open the file and copy all of them and then all you need to do is replace it right here just click on paste but uh I don't really have to do it because I already pasted it into the file. So I will just open it. You will see it will become a bloody Europe mod because that's how you do it. Pretty much it's easy thing. Okay, it's a bloody Europe 2 mod. So uh, I, I hope this will, you know, clear some things up because some of you might not know how to do it. Some of you might have seen it but still get confused. So this is the bloody Europe 2 in order to install the file you need to make sure that you have download the file you unzip the file and extract it into one folder on your desktop and then you copy one of your backup and paste it to the other side of the back uh, desktop anywhere you want and then you copy the file that you extracted and you replace it inside the directory 
and it will be became like this. What the hell with the siren? Anyways, so uh, just waiting for the game to be loaded. Okay, so it's uh, bloody Europe. You can see it's a test, religion war, modern world, blah, 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 blah. Just like it. Just remember that this map is only Europe, so you cannot move anywhere beside Europe. Okay. Uh, if you guys don't really understand anything about it, just comment down below. I will try my best to help all of you guys. Okay. So now moving on to the Android part. So I do have an Android phone. I have Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. But I'm not going to do it on my Android. I will do it on my emulator, which is Bluestar. I'm not going to do it on Nox because Nox is uh, very uh, laggy at the moment. So I'm going to do it on my blue stack. I'm going to, sorry, no, 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 no. Where's my blue stack? Uh, wait a minute. Let me, let me search it up. Okay. Blue stack. Good. So blue stack is an emulator on PC and yes, it look, it looks cringy because of all of these, you know, uh, you know, Android ish game, uh, basically stay on the blue stack. So yeah. So just wait a moment. For it to be loaded, starting the engine, please wait, take a 40 seconds, depends on your PC performance. Okay. So I already have the Bloody Europe 2 and add on plus. So how do you install it? Eventually it's pretty easy. It's like installing an app because uh, if you guys own an Android, you guys know it is easy, right? Because uh, you already have this one. This is a APK file, okay? For Android, it's APK. For iOS, it's an IPA. I will explain the iOS later. Okay, but for now, you all you need to do if you are using it on a phone, just download it from a Google Drive and then just install it from right there. But if you are doing it on an emulator, all you need to do is to, you know, uh, drag it and paste it in and it will be installed. I don't have to do it because I already installed it. So let's have a look at the uh, add on plus mod on emulator Android, which can be also uh, installed from the phone and also can be installed. Uh, in, inside the emulator as well. So you can see this is a add-on plus mod on the BlueStack emulator on PC. But I'm not going to play it right there because it's going to be really laggy. Uh, an emulator is like a Android base uh, on your PC device. Sorry, PC. Yeah, PC device. But eventually, if you compare the speed from that emulator to an exact phone, it might not work that way. So keep in mind, that this is just an example. You have to install it on your phone in order to play it. And for those who have PC, I know exactly that your guy would not, you know, install it on your emulator. But I'm doing this just an example. Just say that it's on a smartphone because I don't want to record on the smartphone because it will take a lot of time. Okay. So just wait it to end. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, you can tell it's a bit like Okay, so now the game is on, but you can tell that it's really, really slow. Why? Because the emulator is really lag, lag like to the bottom, to the top. So you can see this is an add-on plus mod. All you need to do to install it on your Android or your Android emulator on PC is just to drag it in if you're using on PC. If you have an Android phone, all you need to do is to download it and when it's done, just click install and it's gonna be easy. And next stop is the Bloody Europe. Bloody Europe is also uh, laggy as well. You can also hear the music from... Let me just close it in. I don't want to annoy anybody. Also, there's a Russian version of how to install this one. Uh, first, I was like, nah, I'm not gonna do it. But since it's Russian, well, I'm gonna do it because I'm now speaking English. Okay. Just wait for a moment because the game is lag. No, the game is not lag. My device is lag. Okay, same thing, bloody Europe. Yep, and new game. <laughs> and you can tell, oh my god, it's pretty laggy. Modern world. Uh, I don't have to load the scenario because it will eventually crash. Okay, so that is how you install your mod, your bloody Europe 2, and also the add on plus mod on your PC and on your Android device and on your Android emulator. And for iOS, for iPhone, iPad, 
there's no mod for that. The reason why because iPhone, iPad is from Apple. Apple has a very strict security onto file and gaming app, meaning that you guys cannot just install it like that. It will need permission and eventually there will be no permission given to any sort of this because uh, it's about security. So anyways, for those who really uh, did not get how tutorial to do this, you guys can comment down below. I will try my best to answer every single thing you guys want to know and more about modding. So hope you guys enjoyed this little bit like we do. I will see you guys next time.